Oh my goodness, these glitches could destroy Minecraft as we know it. Watch the video to the very end to find out what they are. This is huge news. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to Glitch Chunk, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about Minecraft glitches that Mojang doesn't want you to know about. Huh? What does this mean? Well, find out as you stick with us to the very end. And before we start, we ask for you to hit that big red subscribe button and the post notifications if you post content just like this very video, and it would be such a shame if you missed out on any of it. And anyways, let's get right into today's video. Number 1. Problematic Pig Now, as a little thought experiment, I want you to look at this mob and try to guess what the glitch is. Go ahead. What do you think is wrong with it? Do you see the glitch yet? Well, I'll tell you that the glitch is that. This is actually supposed to be a pig. Rather, it was seen as creepers actually came into the game because of a failed pig model. Sure enough, Minecraft's most iconic mob came from one of the most mundane. So if you want to talk about the essential glitch, that became a feature, this might be Minecraft's most famous, or in fact, this might be one of the most famous glitches that ever became a feature in history. And thank god it did, because honestly, I cannot imagine Minecraft without a creeper. I mean, it's not often that your failed 3D model ends up on this much merch. Just saying. Number 2. Exception so this is a weird one because in fairness to Mojang, they have tried to get rid of this feature once or twice. And that of course is the many different x-ray bugs that exist in Minecraft. While I personally remember back in the day when I tried to light up caves, I'd push a redstone block into my head and composters are way more of a popular option these days. And while Sure, these glitches don't exactly work like the x-ray features and hacked clients. They aren't exactly intentional. But for the time being, you want to use this while Mojang still has it in the game. All you gotta do is push these different blocks into your player model. And just like that, you'll be seeing every unlit cave. And who knows, maybe even some diamonds down there. Number 3. Quality Quashi the redstone community is one of the most cornerstones of the Minecraft community. And for good reason. They do a lot of great stuff, but it's weird to think that so much of the community, at least, is in Java and built around a glitch in the community that calls it Quasi Connectivity. And what this refers to is a bug in the code that allows for piston as well as dispensers and droppers to be activated when blocks directly above them or diagonally above them receive a redstone signal, even if they're not getting one directly. Which sure enough means that we're able to power pistons like this even if it doesn't make direct sense. And if you want any further proof that this is unintentional, and that it doesn't exist in Bedrock Edition, it's just the job of the people who get to play around with this. And for all you playing Bedrock players, I hope for your sake it gets added intentionally someday. Number 4. Rock the Bed Minecraft has a couple different blocks that are famously not able to be broken in survival, and while that's the case with command blocks and end portal frames, I think all of us think that bedrock first. But even though our pickaxe might not do a great job of trying to get through this block, that doesn't mean it's not possible in survival. Because strange as it is, it actually seems like it's getting easier and easier in every coming update to get rid of a block like this. Well, in the past, I remember having to do this through different long redstone circuits and TNT minecarts and such. But now, all the blocks that you need for it can fit easily into a hotbar. It's just getting that simple and hey, I'm not complaining. It lets me build my nether hub without any kind of gas. I see that as an absolute win. 
And lastly, at number 5, Best B.U.D. One of the most monumental discoveries that shaped the landscape of Minecraft Redstone has to be these blocks update detector switches. These bud switches, as the community like to call them, are such an essential way to how we play the game, I mean, up until 1.11, it was the only way to tell if a block got updated, and folks, it doesn't take a lot of redstone to know how to see just how useful one of these could be for farms. Which is why, luckily for us, Mojang added these in officially through the form of observers. Now, that's not to say that the original bud switch isn't still in the game. As you can see here, both are working the same way. But what we do have here is convenience, which I think is how Mojang actually sought to replace it because if you ask me, I want to build this whole circuit or just place down one of these blocks with a face, I'm definitely taking my option with the straight face. And anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching today's video here on Glaze Chunk. We hope you enjoyed it, hit the like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, watch one of these two videos on screen, because I'm sure you like at least one of them. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next Minecraft video. Bye bye